Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Alhamdulillah that only Allah come into our life and teach us, Ya ana abdukul ajeezu da'eefu miskeenu zalimu jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and we ask ourselves, what is salaam? So that this video be just by itself, not mixed with something else. What is salaams? When Allah is asking us to make Salatu Salaam on Sayyidina Muhammad they come and teach us that this seen Lam Meem is the Salaam and a loaded ship that comes. And when Allah we're trying to achieve this and this seen is a secret. This reality of light, Nur al-Anwar wa Sirat al-Asrar, the secret of light and the light of every secret. Fully loaded reality that coming and this secret that has ilmu yaqeen because it's the seen, has heavenly knowledges, not book knowledges. But achieved through the heart and flowing from the heart of Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. Mean a live living connection from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to only Allah and only Allah to their students. This comes ilmu yaqeen flowing down. This is how to understand this salaam when somebody says, this is salaam, not salaam, give salaam, don't give salaam, they can't even explain what salaam is. The only thing is greeting, hello, Allah giving you hello. But when Allah direct His focus towards you, something's coming. This thing comes with ilmu yaqeen, comes with aynu yaqeen. Means that it comes with the realities of the heart, the knowledges of paradise realities that can only be unveiled through the heart and not the maqs and not the brain, not the philosopher who sit and try to look at the huruf and say, I wonder what my name means in this huruf. It's not that. This is about the heart and unveiling of the heart. Aynul yaqeen. If Allah want you to receive salams, He must have enrolled you into a school that teaches ilmu yaqeen, ya dalil al mutahideen. That's why our dua, ya wahab, ya wahab, ya wahab, ya musabbib al asbab, ya mufatiha abwab, ya muqalib al qulubi wal absar, ya dalil al mutahideen. That you're going to, in this school you enrolled me for ilmu yaqeen, you're going to put me in every type of condition and then make me to choose a door. Hope it's the right door to the test. If it's the right door then the knowledge is Dalil al mutahideen is that he's the guide of the bewildered. We go somewhere and they teach the hadith, the same hadith for 30 years, they get Storytellers, you watch them on the TV, RRY, RVY and these are hadith translators. These are not ilm al these are people who take the hadith that me and you already saw, add a couple stories and songs and make a whole show out of it. That's not the learning, that's not the reality, the ilm al yaqeen, the hadith and Nabi were like notes. When you're going to go with like a cue card, three pointers before you go to a meeting, it was meant for you to have a pointer, isharat, but to be tapped into the heart of Prophet so that he can now expand upon these notes. It wasn't a complete, it wasn't about translating this and screaming into the crowd and singing a song with it, so you achieve something. Ilm al is a heavenly knowledge connected to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad you go back and research it and you'll find in every single hadith of their talking it's related to a hadith and that is the secret of that hadith. 
Ilmu yaqeen wa ainu yaqeen that you must have been enrolled. These are Ahl al-Basira when they're teaching you ilmu yaqeen they must be teaching you ain how to reach Allah's ancient alim, ancient knowledges. That ain to come must have your ain controlled. Your eye has to be controlled to receive the ain, the eyes of Allah's So if we don't control this ain, this one will never open. So they must have enrolled us in how to close this eye, Ya Rabbi, I want the ain and the secret of knowledges, ancient knowledges. That has no beginning and no end and flowing live from the heart, from this satellite system it's flowing. That's why it's essential to have the love of Imam Ali salam. You're asking to enter into this city of knowledges and Prophet teaching that the gatekeeper and the people of the Bab, their master is Imam Ali salam. So one whom teaches this knowledges is from Ulul Bab of many titles they may have but they are the caretakers of the door because they're bringing you in to a city of knowledges. Not translators, the city of knowledges. Then they have haqqa yaqeen that what they learned, what they saw was true. So they don't read for you, they learned it by writing. They attended their teachers and masters and they wrote. They didn't read the writing of someone else, they made books, not read books. They made books, they have 50, 60, 70 books in the 25 years of accompanying their master in writing, their maker of books. Those knowledges became true for them, they were taught how to become Ahlul Basira. As a result Allah granted them to see every reality that they're teaching so that it's real for them. They can describe it like they look at their hand. No philosophy, oh, I don't know, see maybe you connect like that, maybe, I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. One who hasn't tasted it, it's just speaking something, but these are real. They've been dressed from this scene, then this knowledge, this lotusship is coming through a lisan, through a teaching. That lisan must be connected to the tongue of Prophet and that's why Allah says, you better be with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. that is the real Kaaba of Allah The stones is an imitated Kaaba. But these four corners means that you must be connected to the tongue of truth Sayyidina Muhammad and he gave his holy tongue to his Siddiqeen, so they call Aliyah. Then they gave the holy tongue to shuhada, those whom they martyred themselves and they died in dunya and they are mawt qabl al mawt. And Allah describes in Surah Tanu, these rijalullah they were waiting, some of them achieved and others died waiting. That they busied themselves cleaning themselves and they produced salihin. Righteous students because the knowledges are real, the power and the light and the energy is real. So it means this knowledge must be through one of these lisan, safeguard that where your tongue is coming from, your knowledge coming from, which shuhada are you connected to? Who taught you how to die before you die and when, which of these great siddiqs it's connecting you, that's why then the turuqs and ahl dhikr there's nobody outside of that. You say, I found somebody who talks really interesting but he doesn't have a shaykh and he's not from that. That's a different reality, that's not from these people. They have to be connected because they are living Kaabas and they are Qiblas. They have to know exactly how they're taking from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq and for Naqshbandiyya 
They also may be granted how they're taking from Imam Ali salam. Forty-two tariqahs take only from Imam Ali salam and they don't have from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Naqshbandiyat al-Aliya is they get the complete Siddiq al-Mutlaq, perfection upon them, dress upon them, knowledge is upon them. And if Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad wants, the inheritance of Sayyidina Muhammad will come through Imam Ali salam. They don't have to give it, it's not mandatory. You may see somebody in tariqah is not getting the prophetic reality. That's an inheritance that Imam Ali salam will take to that one and begin to convey the family secrets of Sayyidina Muhammad so they inherited this lis lisan, this lamb and then that meme is an isharat and a sign, they are all Muhammadiyoon. One sign for you is they must have a meme on their head. They don't wear a McDonald's hat, they don't wear a movie show hat, they don't wear anything from television show, they wear a meme. Because it was a shara to this mim, amame, they have a mim on their head. So this sanam is coming down as loaded knowledges, blessings from Allah So then what Allah wants for us is that request this reality for your beloved Sayyidina Muhammad as an ihtiram and a sign of respect. So when you give durood al-sharif and salatu wa salam on Sayyidina Muhammad it's so powerful that you're not even giving it because you're saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad Allah merely wants to see your respect to do it, Allah will give the salams upon Sayyidina Muhammad means He's dressing this eternal soul with all its realities of who it is, of its seen, dressing and empowering his lamb, his eternal tongue of truth, making the Muhammadan status ever more powerful. That Allah said, in this creation of yours, how much He loves Sayyidina Muhammad that I'm going to make everyone praise upon you. That from wherever they are they're sending these glorifications that Allah takes and dresses and blesses Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result Prophet knows the immensity of that and says, if you make one time and show this respect one time for me, that make one of these salams for me, I can unlock now this reality and begin to send salam upon you. This is the immensity of salam. So when it says, Salamun hiya hatta mita al fajr, or alayhi salam, alayhim salam, means that they loved Sayyidina Muhammad as a result of their love and their durood upon Sayyidina Muhammad. Allah dressed with the light of Prophet upon them. And Prophet is dressing their soul with the seen and all its realities we described. Dressing their tongue from the, the haqqaiqs of the, of the truth, making them Muhammadiyoon. This is the immensity of this blessing when Allah wants to give salamun hiya tamit al fajr that Prophet is going to be dressing you all the time, all day long. Busy yourself with durood al-sharif, you can't imagine what's coming in the salams. And that's why the fajr is so important because Salat al-Tahajjud, this reality is coming closer for us. Means Prophet becomes even closer to insan at that time, dressing and blessing them, dressing and blessing them. We pray that Allah open for us an understanding of the immensity of these lights and these blessings and how weak we are. But what a gift Allah gave if for just one durood al-sharif to take the reward of the whole understanding of that salam that we just described. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa, we'll see the Surat al
بحثی هست Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel Your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality Classical Islamic teachings And realities of the soul With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.